the sistership of the Padawheel Queen. She had more charm. Yep, she was never one to outshine the other riverboats, let alone her larger older sister. She was a reliable ship. Yet, she never received the attention of her sister, the Lord Selkirk, or the River Rouge. In fact, she received, received the same amount of attention as the Lady Winnipeg. But, she always had a loyal group of followers, including me. And this is the history of Manitoban's princess, the MS Paddlewheel Princess. In 1966, Lockport businessman Ray Sneft decided to build a second, smaller sister ship to alleviate the overbooked Padawheel Queen, who was built the year previous. And, building on the success of the Padawheel Queen, the Padawheel Princess was constructed in 1966 by Selkirk shipbuilders Bill and Ted Purvis, who constructed the two deck imitation stern, a stern wheeler with a capacity of 200 passengers. She was just a smaller queen, really, yet she seemed to be just as popular as her older sister. She would enter service in 1966, and while her sister carried celebrities like uh, Colonel Sanders, the Queen, Royalty, Prime Ministers, Pretty much if it's a celebrity, they, chances are, if they came to Manitoba, they rode on the riverboats. However, she was still carrying many people over her service career. Her career was quiet, with no major issues and only two minor ones that will be in the next two sections. She went from the Redwood Docks in Winnipeg to Lockport and beyond. She would do this run until 2013. She only changed docks for the last few years of service to the Alexander Docks with the Queen and the River Rouge, also making the switch. However, her long and happy career would never last forever. May 12th, 2008, Mother's Day. The Paddlewheel Princess suffered a steering failure while on a three-hour cruise about 20 minutes after leaving Winnipeg's Redwood Dock. They decided to beach her, turning her with her engines, instead of dropping anchor as it would be safer for the passengers and easier to get them off if the ship was unable to move on its own. There were no injuries among the passengers, and the passengers were taken by taxis and the Petal Queen in short order. The cause was investigated and was determined by the Coast Guard to be a damaged steering cable and she was out of service for a few days while the system was repaired. In fact, the system on both her and the Padawheel Queen and the River Rouge was repaired after this because, because they all had the same steering system. So, it made all the, four, all the three remaining riverboats even safer than they already were. Sometime between August 22nd and 23rd of 2013, Someone broke into the Paddlewheel Princess's bridge while she was docked at, on the Redwood Avenue Pier, and they stole her large, spiked wooden steering wheel. Police found the steering wheel a month later in a home of the 100th block of McCray Avenue in Winnipeg. The 31-year-old man who was living there was arrested and later released on a promise to appear. Nothing else is known about what happened after this, or why he even did it, as his name was not released to the public and the press coverage drops off after this. The wheel was returned to its rightful place on the Petal Wheel Princess and left many, including me, questioning why someone would steal it and how someone even managed to steal it because that, that thing's heavy. But there you go. She, along with the Queen, were beached in the Selkirk Slough and put it for sale in 2013. There were no fires for the once proud paddle wheelers. However, a stroke of good luck came in 2016. Even though her older sister, the Queen, was caught up that year, she was sold to become a river cruiser yet again. And work was planned with by her new owner to return her to service. Until May 9th, 2017. Almost five years since Lord Selkirk II was set on fire by a group of teens, and two years after he was scrapped. The Selkirk Fire Department got a call 
were originally a grass fire. But when they showed up, it turned out it was actually the, the beloved paddle wheel princess. The fire tore through the paddle wheeler and took over two hours to put out. She was a total loss, with only her steel shell remaining. And yet again, Kerpetines were the cause. It was soon announced that she would be scrapped. Nope, I said soon, but as of February 2022, two, uh, five years later, she was still sitting in the slough. And it wasn't until a month ago, a few months ago. After months and months and months of searching the web, I saw pictures of her being cut up in the winter of 22 and 23, ending the last of the mantle and paddle wheelers, and the best chance to see the riverboats return to service. However, I still believe they can. Now this was before I knew she was scrapped, but I wanted to include it as the script was created long before I found out. I went up to Selkirk in August 2023 to see the wreck of the SS Lubrick, the River Rouge, and of course, my beloved paddle wheel princess. But she was gone. Despite satellite imagery showing her there sometime in the spring of 23, although clearly that date on the image was off, I made a video on it, and not only now do I have the proof that she was scrapped. It's a tragedy that she was scrapped, but at least I know now what happened to my favorite riverboat. The princess was loved by everyone who saw her, got many people into ships, including myself. She was beloved. She was the Manitoba's princess. She was supposed to be the first riverboat to return. Instead, she will never sail again. Heartbreak for those who adored her. She will never be forgotten and will always be remembered for all the happy memories she created and the passions she lit in those who loved her dearly. She may be gone, but she will never be forgotten. And hopefully, she never will be. Long live my princess, the Paddlewheel Princess.